Hi. In this video, I want to talk to you about communication, language. Oh, such a big cultural difference. The meaning of yes or no. Oh, that is something that so many people are frustrated about because in direct cultures with low contacts, yes means yes, no means no. Yes, I can do it. No, I can't do it. Easy, they say. I'm just saying the truth. I'm just telling you yes or no. But the cultures with the high contacts, they don't like to confront with a no. Because saying no is way too confrontational. And those cultures, they like harmony. They like peace. They like to save face. They like to have a good relationship. And with a good relationship and a harmonious relationship, you don't say no. So the word no, mm, 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 they don't use it. But that means that they say yes. And the word yes has about five meanings. Yes. Yeah, I can do it. Yes. Maybe I can do it. Yes. I'm not so sure I can do it. Yes, I will do my best. Yes, I don't think I can make it. But they will always say yes. <laughs> Whereas in a direct culture, can you do it? Yes, I can do it. And you can count on it. Or they will say, no, I can't do it. So who is right? Who is wrong? There is no right or wrong. It is just different. Different context, different cultures, different perceptions. The solution? One, be aware of which culture you are belonging to. Are you a culture that is more direct or more indirect? And then it becomes easy. Because two, when you deal with other cultures, you realize, oh, wait a minute, I'm direct. Maybe I can just give my sentences a bit longer, explain it a bit more, be a bit more indirect. Put some effort into that. And also accept that the other culture is not the same. So be open-minded, be flexible, and most of all, be aware of the difference between low context and high context, between directness and indirectness. Be aware of nonverbal gestures. How do you know all of this? How can you know all of this? By observing. Observe what's going on. Observe what others do. And do a little bit of research, maybe, before you go somewhere, before you meet with another culture, before you do business with another culture. A little bit of research, like, ooh, what is appropriate? What is polite? You learn all the time and you adapt to the other. I'm not saying change yourself. No, no, no. I keep repeating that and I keep repeating there is no right or wrong. But just try to be open-minded, be aware, and then it's easy. Yes, it's easy. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs>